Hey class, welcome back to another video with regards to the pH, pOH, and buffers. So in the part 1, we have discussed already the important terminologies and basically the introduction. So here in part 2, this is now actually the computations part, okay? So please be ready with your scientific calculator as well as your notes and scratch paper so that you may be able to answer the examples that will be given later on. Okay, so let's start. What is a pH? So, kanina pa natin pinag-uusapan yung pH kung tuloy-tuloy ka nanonood ng video lecture. pH is a negative logarithm of the aqueous solution's molar hydronium ion concentration. So, mamaya didiscuss natin much further itong definition ito. But, additional information with regards to our pH, it comes from the German word potens, which means power. That is why it is actually, your pH is actually known as your power or potential of hydrogen. I repeat, pH, yung meaning po mismo nung word na pH is power or potential of hydrogen. So basically, it can be power of hydrogen or potential of hydrogen. I repeat, what does it mean? What does pH mean? Again guys, that is power of hydrogen or potential of hydrogen. Then, next, just a fun fact uh, regarding the pH, which is the normal blood pH of humans is 7.35 to 7.45. I repeat, the normal blood pH of humans is 7.35 to 7.45. Uyo, meron tayong nakitang star. Ang star, di ba, it means this is a recall question or a related topic in the board exam. So, in the board exams before, it was asked what is the normal blood pH. It's not uh, directly asking that question, but it is related with the normal blood pH. And then again, the normal blood pH of us is 7.35 to 7.5. So, please do take note again, the normal blood pH, which is a recall question in the board exam, is 7.35 to 7.45. And then, take note of the following formula. So, paki-kabisado po. Onti lang naman siya. So, dapat kabisado po ang mga formulas na ito. The pH is equal to the negative logarithm of hydrogen plus or hydrogen ion or hydronium ion. I repeat, pH, this is the first formula that you need to remember. pH is equal to the negative logarithm of a hydro, hydrogen ion. If you can recall, ano nga ba ulit yung definition ni pH, di ba? This is the negative logarithm of the aqueous solution's molar hydronium ion concentration. So, this actually answers kung ano ibig sabihin ng definition ni pH na negative logarithm, blah, 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 due to the formula, which is again, pH is calculated as pH is equals to negative log of hydronium or hydrogen ion. So, yun lang naman. Yun lang yung ibig sabihin ng definition niya. Again, this formula. So, number one again, paki-kabisado po. Next, POH is equals to negative log of hydroxide ion. I repeat, POH is equals to negative log OH negative. Okay, sinusulat ba ngayon dyan sa iyong notes? So, dapat sinusulat mo to because again, you need to memorize these formulas. Next, pH plus pOH is equals to 14 in 25 degrees Celsius. I repeat, pH plus pOH is equals to 14 in 25 degrees Celsius. Although, hindi naman na namin kayo masyadong guguluhin with regards to the Celsius-Celsius, mga ganon. But it's good thing, guys, to take note that pH plus pOH is equals to 14 in 25 degrees Celsius. But just this one is enough. Pakikabisado din. Next. If you will be taking note of that the given is a hydronium ion or a hydroxide ion, and there will be 1.0 times 10 raised to negative x, the pH will be equals to x. I repeat, if you will be seeing in the 
problem that the given is a hydronium ion or a hydroxide ion wherein ang given is 1.0 times 10 raised to negative x. The pH should be calculated para hindi na mahirap. pH is equals to x which is yung exponent. Okay. So again, take note of the following formulas. Please memorize this by heart so that makaka-follow tayo in the lecture. So before na mag-proceed ka with the lecture, make sure na kabisado mo itong mga formulas na ito. So again, pH is equals to negative log of hydrogen. pOH is equals to negative log of hydroxide. pH plus pOH is equals to 14. And then, if you will be seeing that the given is a hydronium or a hydroxide ion and the given is 1.0 times 10 raised to negative x, the pH now should be calculated as pH is equals to x, which is the exponent of the given. So, sige. If you already memorized these formulas, let's now proceed with the computations proper. We will be giving many examples so that you may be able to know on what formula that you need to use to calculate for the given problem. So, pH or pOH, measure of acidity or basicity of a solution. Wherein, kapag guys, pag nakita nyo po na ang given nyo is an acid, you will use the formula pH is equals to negative log of hydrogen. And if the formula or the chemical formula or the given is a base, you will be using the pOH is equals to negative log of hydroxide. And this is the relationship of the hydrogen and hydroxide ion if the solution is acidic. And alam naman na natin, right, na kapag acidic is madaming hydrogen ions in comparison with your hydroxide ions, then your basic solution, hydrogen ions, is less than your hydroxide ions. And a neutral solution have the same amount of hydrogen and hydroxide ions. So again, pH is a measure of acidity or basicity of a solution, wherein if you will be dealing with an acid as an example, use this formula. And then, if you will be dealing with the base, pOH is equal to negative log of hydroxide. Game. So, calculating for the pH or the pOH. Example, you will be seeing this question. Calculate the pH of the solution, which is your hydronium ion or hydrogen ion, is equal to 1.0 times 10 raised to negative 6. Okay, so ito, nakita na dito kung ano yung formula, right, na gagamitin. So, if this is the case na nakita nyo that the coefficient is 1.0, again, if the given is a hydronium or a hydroxide ion, and the coefficient of the scientific notation is 1.0, use the formula na ganito. Hydrogen is equals to 1.0 times 10 raised to negative x and then the pH is equals to x. And in this case, since this is your given, and again, take note lagi ng coefficient natin. If it's 1.0, automatic, use the formula pH is equals to x. Wherein yung x natin is the exponent of the given, which is your 6. Therefore, the answer now in, here in this question is 6. pH is equals to 6. Again, guys, I repeat, calculate for the pH of hydronium ion. Then, ito po yung given. Hydronium is equals to 1.0 times 10 raised to negative 6. Please do take note that the given has a coefficient of 1.0. Therefore, use the formula pH is equals to x, wherein the x is actually the exponent. Okay, and in this case, ito yung given natin, hydronium is equal to 1.0 times 10 raised to negative 6. 6 is yung exponent, therefore, the pH now of the solution is equals to 6. Gets po ba? Yan, just repeat the video if you want it parang hindi pa masyadong na-absorb. Ayan. So, this is, guys, ha, this is only applicable if the coefficient of the given is 1.0. Okay? Eh, ma'am, what if po iba po? Hindi po 1.0. So, sige. Bigay tayo ng next example. 
So, calculate the pH of the solution, which is, yung given nyo po, is a hydronium ion again, but it is 7.4 times 10 raised to negative 5. So, ayan mo, di ba? Hindi na po siya 1.0. So, if that's the case, take note yung mga pinakabisadong formula sa inyo, di ba? pH is equals to negative log, blah, blah, blah. And since, guys, the given is a hydronium or a hydrogen ion, ano po yung pinakatamang formula na dapat natin gamitin? So, ito ba? Yung pOH is equals to negative log of OH negative. I think this is incorrect, so hindi nyo to dapat munang gamitin because again, the only given here is a hydronium or hydrogen ion. Eh ma'am, what about pH plus pOH is equals to 14? Is this the correct one to use? Mm, I don't think so. Because uh, in the given, meron ba kayong given a pH? Wala, di ba? Kasi yun nga yung pinapakalculate sa atin. What about pOH? We also don't have a given that is a pOH. So therefore, let's try to check the other formula na kinabisado nyo. pH is equals to negative log of H positive or H3O positive. This is the correct formula to use. Ayan. This is the correct formula to use. Again, that is your pH is equals to negative log of hydronium or hydrogen ion because again, the given is a hydronium ion. So guys, ang tip ko sa inyo here in calculating for the pH or pOH of a solution, always take note what is the given. Okay? With that, if you already know what is the given, you will now decide what formula to use. So, itong tatlo, mamili ka na lang kung anong kailangan mong gamitin dyan based again on the given. And since here the given is a hydronium ion or a hydrogen ion, you can use the formula pH is equals to negative log of H3O positive. And then, next step mo dyan, madali na to, just substitute it po. So, pH is equals to negative log substitute the given which is 7.4 times 10 raised to negative 5 and then use your calculator guys right now you will actually come up with a pH of 4.13 therefore 4.13 is now the final answer in this question so again first thing that you need to do take note what is the given since the given here is uh, hydronium ion, ano bang ba pwede natin gamitin doon sa tatlong formula na pinakabisado sa inyo? So, ito tayo, dito tayo. Sa pH is equals to negative log of a hydronium ion. Then, use your scientific calculator. Sige, pH is equals to negative log. Substitute the given, which is 7.4 times 10 raised to negative 5 you will come up with the answer 4.13. Sige guys, I will be showing yung calculator ko ngayon just so you can see how you can actually do it. So sige, that is again 7.4 times 10 base 2 negative 5. Ayan. Then... You need to log. Kailangan nyo ng log. Kasi di ba may logarithm doon. So, click log. You will come up with the answer negative 4.13. And do take note that this is negative log. So, you need to negate it pa. So, from negative 4.13, it will now become positive. So, therefore, the final answer here is a pH of 4.13. So, again guys, sa ulitin natin here in the cycle of my laptop. Use your scientific calculator. 7.4 again times 10 raised to negative 5. Yan, ito yung makukuha nyo. Click nyo po yung log, logarithm. You will come up with the answer of negative 4.13. But since this is negative logarithm, you need to negate this pa. So, click nyo lang yung negative. You will now have positive 4.13. Therefore, the final answer now is a pH of 4.13. Okay. Next example. Medyo mas mahirap. 
Hindi sinabi dito kung hydrogen ion ba or hydroxide ion to. So, sige, let's try to check if alam. What is the pH of a solution if the concentration is 0.45 molar hydrochloric acid? So, just sige, based just on the chemical formula that is given, hydrochloric acid, what is the correct formula to use? So, take note, ito yung tatlong formula nyo, right? What is the correct formula to use? Sige. Ano daw po ang best na formula ang gamitin? Based just on the given. Ito lang yung given nyo eh. 0.45 molar HCl. Okay? So, tip. Tip ko po sa inyo. Always check kung ano yung chemical formula niya. In this case, this is hydrochloric acid. So, if that's the case, that you will be using the pH is equal to negative log of hydro hydronium or a hydrogen ion. Because again, guys, the given is an acid. Okay? You will only use this formula, your pH is equal to negative log H3O if the given is an acid. But if, if in the case that you will be using a base as the given, you should now use the formula POH is equal to negative log of hydroxide. Okay? So again, always based on the given, kung ano po yung gagamitin yung formula. Then again, since the given here is an acid, hydrochloric acid, use the formula POH is equal to negative log of hydrogen or hydronium ion. Okay? So, ayun, na-figure out na natin what is the best formula to use. Substitute nyo na lang. pH is equal to negative log of 0.45, which is yung given nyo po. Try nyo ngayon yan sa cycle nyo. You will come up with the answer, pH is equal to 0.35. Sige, try ko rin sa aking cycle. So, sige, sabi daw, di ba? 0.45 log. You will come up with negative 0.35. But since this is negative logarithm, you still need to negate this. So, just click negative. You will now have a positive answer, which is, again, a pH of 0.35. And pH of 0.35 is now your final answer. So, yun talaga guys, yung key here. Always check what is the given. If the given is an acid, use this one. If a given is a base, use yung POH. Okay, next. Calculate the pH of a solution of 0.002. 25 molar H2SO4. So, ano ba? Ano ba tong H2SO4? Ano ba yan? Is it an acid or a base? Diba? Ang H2SO4 is actually an acid. Actually, ang basa po dito is sulfuric acid. So, therefore, nagagamitin yung pong formula is this one. Yung pH is equal to negative log of hydronium or hydrogen ion. Ano nang gagawin? Substitute na ba agad? Hindi pa po. Ang una nyong gagawin, guys, if you can actually uh, notice, this is H2SO4. So, therefore, there is two hydrogen ions. So, if that's the case, since there is two hydrogen ions, the given should actually be multiplied by two first. I repeat, since the chemical formula given in the example H2SO4, there are two hydrogen ions. Therefore, you need to have to multiply the given first by 2. Eh ma'am, what if po ang binigay dito is H3SO4? And then times nyo sa muna siya sa 3, bago nyo po ilogarithm. Again guys, sa IRP, always take note of the given. Lagi tayo guys magbe-base eh, dun sa given nyo. So, since here in this case, again, this is sulfuric acid, so ito po yung gagamitin yung tamang formula. And if you can try to notice H2SO4, there is two hydrogen ions. So therefore, you need to multiply first the given by 2. Eh ma'am, what if ang binigay mo sa amin is H3SO4? Then multiply it first by 3 before you 
input logarithm in it. Okay? So, 0 0.0025 times 2 is equals to 0 0.005. Click nyo po yung logarithm. I-negate nyo po since this is negative logarithm. The final answer now here is 2.30. So, sige, try natin sa cycle ni ma'am. So, di ba? Again, ang given natin, calculate for the pH of a solution 0.0025 molar H2SO4. So, again, that is dalawa pong hydrogen ion. So, 0.0025 times 2, which is 0.005. Then, yun na. Click logarithm. You will come up with negative 2.30. And since this is negative logarithm, just click your negative again, you will now come up with a positive answer, which is a pH of 0 2.30. Ayan po. So, ayan guys, ha? lagi po maging aware doon sa given nyo pong value. Next question. Calculate the pH of a 0 0.0010 molar sodium hydroxide solution. So, ano yung given natin? Is this an acid or a base? Sodium hydroxide is an acid or a base. Diba po ang sodium hydroxide, na na nga siya, OH, this is a base. Therefore, anong pinakatamang gamitin formula? Is this the first one, the second one, or the third one? Sige, eliminate tayo. Tama bang gamitin yung pH is equals to negative log of hydrogen? Tama ba na diretso na ito yung gamitin natin? Mm, I think not. Because again, your given here guys is a base. At ginagamit lang po ito directly itong formula natin na ito kapag acid po yung inyong given. Then, next, pH plus pOH is equals to 14. Is this the correct one to use? Mm, somehow, pwede, but tandaan nyo, ang given nyo lang dito is sodium hydroxide, which is a hydroxide ion. We still don't have the pH kasi yun nga po yung pinapakalculate sa inyo. And we still don't have the pOH as well. We only have the concentration of the hydroxide ion. So therefore, the best formula that you can use here is actually the pOH is equal to negative log of hydroxide. Which is again, the given 0 0.0010 molar sodium hydroxide. So this is the best formula to use. Next. Substitute the given, which is again, pOH is equals to negative log of 0 0.0010. Guys, sige, try to use your scientific calculator. What is the answer? So, sige, lagay natin sa cycle natin, 0 0.0010 logarithm negative. You will come up with the answer of pOH is equals to 3. Ma'am, ito na po ba yung final answer ko? POH is equals to 3? Yes or no? Is the POH is equals to 3 your final answer? So, in this case, guys, this is not the final answer yet. Please do take note that you will be needing to calculate for the pH. Magkaiba po ang pH sa POH. Okay, so in this case, again, this is not yet your final answer, but tama na yung ginawa nyo dito na pOH is equals to 3. The next thing that you need to do to calculate for the pH na is another formula. Doon na po papasok yung pH plus pOH is equals to 14 because we already have a given na pOH. So in this case, substitute nyo lang yan. So that is pH plus 3. Yung 3 yun po yung pOH nyo is equals to 14. And based on the rules of math, para po makuha na lang natin itong, uh, itong part na ito, yung pH, ito pong 3 na ito, i-move nyo po siya sa other side ng formula. So, magiging pH is equals to 14 minus 3. 
'di ba? Rules of math 'yan eh. Para makuha na lang natin is yung value ng pH. So tanggalin itong 3 na ito, move this to the other side of the equations and then since positive siya, positive 3 pag napunta sa kabilang side ng equation magiging negative. So that is pH is equals to 14 minus 3. Then 14 minus 3 is equals to 11. 11 now guys is your final answer. Okay, so sige, absorb. Absorb natin ang formula. Mga, ang dami nating calculations here. So again guys, calculate the pH of a 0 0.0010 molar sodium hydroxide solution. Since this is a hydroxide ion, use the formula POH is equals to negative log of OH negative. Substitute the given values, which is POH is equals to negative log, then 0 0.0010. Use your scientific calculator, you will come up with the answer POH is equals to 3. Is this the final answer? Hindi pa po. Because again, you will need to calculate for the pH. Eh ma'am, what if ang sinabi mo dito? Calculate the POH of a blah 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 blah. Ito na yung final answer kung ang pinakalculate po sa inyo is POH only. However, here in this uh, given na uh, problem, pH po kasi yung pinapakalculate sa inyo. So, use another formula which is in this case pH plus POH is equals to 14. Ito po yung ginamit natin kasi meron na tayong given na POH. And then, substitute lang po yung given na values which is pH plus 3. Dito po yan ang galing, is equals to 14. Using rules of math, para ma-retain lang natin is yung pH, move the 3 to the other side of the equation, then that will be pH is equals to 14 minus 3. Therefore, the final answer now is 11. Kasi 14 minus 3 is 11. pH of 11 is now the final answer here. Okay, next. The pH of a solution is 6.8. So, ayun na, binigay na sa inyo yung pH. Now, the thing that you need to do is find the molar hydronium ion concentration for this solution. So, ayun guys, again, meron na kayong given na pH. So, basically, ito, meron tayo nito. Then, ang pinapahanap sa inyo ngayon is the hydronium ion concentration, which is in this case, this one, yung H3O. Eh, paano natin makukuha yan? Use now the formula, pH is equals to negative log of hydronium ion. Kasi nga yung hydronium po ha, yung pinapahanap natin at meron tayong given na pH. Kaya po, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin. Then, substitute nyo lang po. 6.8, which is your pH, is equals to negative log of hydronium. You actually have two options here on what you need to do. If you have your scientific calculator with you, you can do this first. First option. First option is anti-log. Anti-log is done by pressing shift po, tsaka log, doon sa inyong cycle. Sorry guys, uh, I don't have kasi scientific calculator that I can show you right now. Na actual. So, you can do this po. By, again, pressing shift plus log. That is the anti-log. And then, anti-log. Then, that is 6.8. Then, try nyo po yan sa calculator. Nyo. Shift, log, press 6.8. Negative 6.8. You will come up with the answer of 1.58 times 10 raised to negative 7 molar. This is now the final answer to this question, yung hydronium ion concentration. So, ito po yung first uh, first option that you can do. But if medyo nalilito po kayo at hindi nyo magawa yung shift log dun, or anti-log dun sa inyong scientific calculator, meron po ako guys na second option for you. The second option, the other way, is like this. Substitute nyo po, which is 6.8, di ba yun yung given, is equals to negative log of hydronium. Ito po yung hinahanap. Next step that you need to do is like this. Hydronium is equals to 10 raised to negative x. Wherein yung x nyo po is the given pH, which is 6.8. Ayan. 
10 raised to negative 6.8. And then, use, yan po, lagay nyo yan sa calcu nyo, 10 raised to negative 6.8. Ang answer po dyan again is also 1.58 times 10 raised to negative 7 molar. This is now the final answer in this question. So, sige class, try natin doon sa cycle ni ma'am. Built-in cycle here. here. So again, pH of a solution, this is the given, 6.8, find the molar hydronium ion concentration for this solution. Since hydronium ion po yung hinahanap natin, you can use this formula, yung pH is equal to negative log of hydronium ion. Substitute the given, we have pH of 6.8 is equal to negative log of hydronium ion. Then dito na tayo sa other way kasi hindi ko po ito magagawa here in my calcu. So, other way, again, 6.8 is equals to negative log of hydronium. The next step, hydronium is equals to 10 raised to negative x, wherein po yung x natin is your pH, which is the given 6.8. So, sige, click natin, 10 raised to 6.8, negative 6.8 equals, ayan, 1.58 times 10 raised to negative 7. So, ganun lang po siya kadali. So, again, it's either you directly input this in your calc by uh, entry shift plus log and then enter negative, then yung given. Or the other way, para mas makikita nyo kasi yung pinakaginagawa is like this. Yan lang. So, 10 raised to negative x wherein yung x is your given na 6 point. Ayan yan. So, that is how you calculate if the given example is like this. One point fifty eight times ten raised to negative seven molar is the hydronium ion concentration if the pH of a solution is six point eight. Okay, next example. Find the hydrogen ion concentration and the hydroxide ion concentration of a solution with a pH of 3.494. So, formula 1. Formula 1 is like this. pH is equal to negative log of hydronium. Ito muna yung hanapin natin, yung hydrogen ion nyo. So, substitute pH of 3.494 is equals to negative log of hydrogen or hydronium. Then, yun nga, gamitin nyo po yung cycle nyo na directly yung anti-log or you can do, like, do it like this, 10 raised to negative x. Ayan po. So, 10 raised to negative 3.494, you will come up with 3.21 times 10 raised to negative 4. Therefore, this is now the final answer for the hydrogen ion concentration. Formula number 2. How do you calculate naman, ma'am, for the hydroxide? So, wala tayong direct eh. Kasi ang given nyo pa lang is pH of 3.494 at yung hydrogen ion concentration nyo. So, the next thing that you can do since given naman na yung pH nyo, Use the formula pH plus pOH is equals to negative 14. Then, substitute nyo. Yun yung pH 3.494 plus pOH is equals to 14. Use the rules of math para ito lang yung matira. Move the 3.494 in the other side of the equation. So, you will come up with the pOH is equals to 14 minus 3.494. And then, makakakuha kayo ng value na POH is equals to 10.506. So, hindi pa po yan yung final answer nyo. Kasi ang kailangan nyo is the hydroxide. Next formula that you can use is POH is equals to negative log of hydroxide ion. And since meron na po kayong given na POH, just substitute it. Which is in this case, yung nakuha natin kanina, 10.506. Then, is equals to the negative log of hydroxide. Next step is ganito, yung tinuro ko sa inyong way para makuha nyo yung anti-log. If wala kayong shift log dun sa cycle nyo, you can do this. 
So, hydroxide ion is equals to 10 raised to negative x, wherein yung x nyo po is the given pOH. So, 10 raised to negative 10.506. Lagay nyo po yan sa kalki nyo, you will come up with the answer 3.12 is 3 times 10 raised to negative 11 molar. And that is now the final answer. So, basically, ito kasi dalawa yung hinahanap, right? Hydrogen ion concentration and hydroxide ion concentration. Okay, kaya pa ba? You can, you can do this. Uh, if you are medyo nabibilisan dun sa facing ng ating lecture, you can always rewind uh, in a few minutes so that you may be able to see the computation again.